That's all right. Uh, cues were very good. I was thinking about um, one thing, though. So Q should really be given, well, with always with the eyes, and then with one other thing. And then if you combine it with more than one other thing, then it starts to sometimes be too much. Now, if it's, you know, climax of Mahler 5, brass corral, you're going to give it with all you got. But for this, probably, the you know, one thing that always has to be uh, common is your eyes. You have to look at them. And then breath. You're, right now, you're doing eyes, breath, left okay. hand, yeah. Okay. So it's just a, maybe more than they need. Okay. That's a good problem to have. It's better than less than they need. Okay, now let's do it again and make sure you're staying in two. Okay, so, yeah. so how many preps do they need? One. Yeah, I don't think they need any more than one. She's feeling the rhythm. How do you? How can you tell? Did you notice anything different about this time than the first time? Besides the fact that she didn't use her left hand. Yeah. Right. There's this bouncing in your body, which again um, sort of feels good to you. Can sometimes be sort of helpful. It's not a horrible thing. But if it becomes a habit, it can be bad. I, I see a lot of um, like high school directors that give eighth notes, like one, two, three, four, like because they think, well, I, I need to subdivide for my students. But the musicians need to subdivide, not you. Okay. I mean, you need to subdivide internally, but not okay. externally. Okay. Just see if you can do four bars without... Um, the bounce. From the top or sure. the okay. No. Okay, when we see her bounce, we're gonna bounce. Okay, that cured it. That that cured it. Yeah. Just, there's just a tiny bit, but yeah, it's really much better. Because before, well, you'll see it on the video. Yeah, it's from the legs before. So it's, it's just clearer and calmer this way. Okay, thanks, Annie.